You guys don't even know how hard it was to feed this crazy boy taste buds. guys welcome back to my channel and i'm gonna show you guys how to make some homemade dog food to tell you the truth i wasn't planning to like make homemade dog food but then this crazy boy right here he is a super picky eater and he has me stressed out when he was a puppy he just ate like whatever like so i only gave him kibbles but I think when he grew kind of older, he started to like have this picky taste. And I heard that Chihuahua have like, they are like picky eaters. So that's why he have like half a Chihuahua in him. And he is a really fussy eater. At first, I didn't know what to do because I mean like he wasn't eating. I mean, when I put down his kibbles, he wasn't eating so I'm like okay why he's not eating so then I know that the only thing that he will eat was boiled chicken so I fed him that daily because he wasn't eating his kibbles I even tried mixing in his kibbles in with the boiled chicken and guess what he did he picks everything out of his bowl I mean like boy how smart are you he literally like pick all his kibbles out or whatever food I put in there that he don't like he either pick it out and put it on the ground and then eat the things that he like and there would be like a big pile of food on the ground which I'll get so angry at him I'm like okay boy why are you not eating that those are healthy like he won't eat his vegetables like when I put like diced carrots in there he will eat them but slowly I think he's starting to like to eat vegetables now which I'm super grateful for that i heard a lot of like bad things about like dog food and you know how it's not really the most healthiest food out there for dogs but i know that it's really quick and easy because you just buy it pour it in there and call it a day but i want him to eat the more like real and raw things instead of having in like a kibble form and just like him eating like rocks you know I know I've been talking a lot about this dog food, but this is just how I make it. And I use an Instapot to make it. I mean, I just recently got an Instapot and it helped me a lot. But if you don't have an Instapot, you could always just use an oven. It will totally work and it's the same thing. So enough chit chatting about Leo. Let's get going to make him some food. First off, we're gonna start by adding a cup of water. And then you can add as many chicken as you want. I'm going to be adding four chicken breasts in my Instapot. And make sure that your pressure here is on the ceiling and not on the venting. And then I'm going to show you how I set my pressure cooker. As you can see, it have the less, the normal, and the more. We need to have it on the more on high pressure for eight minutes. While the Instapot is doing its thing, let's boil some vegetables. I am using carrots and broccoli and I'm just boiling it until tender. After that, I just drain out all the water. Once it's done doing its thing, you're going to see this L000. Don't touch anything yet until it reaches L012. Then go ahead and put the pressure into venting. Make sure that the pan go down before you open the Instapot. And I am using a wooden spoon to turn in it because it's kind of dangerous if you turn it with your hand and all the steam come out, it might burn you. And then I am slicing the chicken into small pieces. Once you're done, I'm just putting it into a Tupperware and adding in all the vegetables and together. Now it's time for the real taste test. Yeah! 
I know that it takes time to make it and everything. That's why I make it in like big batch. So it, it will last like a week. But trust me, I tried my best to make it last week. But it don't. I think it felt like it only lasts three or four days. Because he eats so much. I feed him two times a day. But I feel like it's never enough for him. Remember to like and subscribe my channel and click that notification button so you guys will see when I post the next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!